All right. Hey guys, I'm Jenna Beaverson. Um, I am so pumped to be here tonight. This, this kind of stuff totally fills my bucket. So I'm excited to share with you my hot ass mess. So <laughs> I hope you guys can take away a few things from this and, um, you know, really, really focus on income as much as rank is awesome. We all love that. Um, it's all about the income, guys. <laughs> so I'm just going to give you a little backstory real quick on myself, and then I'll just jump into it. Um, I've been coaching for four years. I um, started in 2014 of March. Um, I've been on the Minnesota Market Council for four years. Um, I'm a three-star in my first CBC. Uh, my husband is a one-star, and then my second CBC is Diamond. Um, let's see. I don't know. Success Club All-Star. I don't know. That's about it. Nothing too fancy. Um, but yeah, so, all right, here we go. And if you guys have any questions, you can just cut me off um, or wait to the end, whatever works for you. So I just want to thank you for having me on. Um, and when I started coaching, I was a full-time kindergarten teacher and I was finishing my master's degree. Um, I had just had a miscarriage a few months into coaching. Um, and then after that, I had three more babies in two and a half years. So Ruby, Ophelia, and Gwendolyn, they're all three and under now. Ruby and O'O, as we call her, are 15 months apart. And O'O and Gwendy Bear are 369 days apart. So if I can do this, um, anyone can do this. So I had a big why, and it was to stay at home with my babies. Um, but before, you know, before babies, I had $70,000 in student loan debt. Um, and yeah, that, that was my big why at the time. So the, I needed to make sure to stay home. My husband was like, you can stay home girl, but you got to make sure you double this income before you quit because you know, um, being your own boss, the, the money goes up and down. So I put my nose down and I worked really hard. Um, we were living paycheck to paycheck, blah, 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 blah. So after a few months of coaching, I saw the potential, um, and I jumped in with both feet and you guys, I didn't know what the hell I was doing at all. So when you started this coaching gig, I'm sure you were like, what the hell am I doing? I didn't know what I was doing for like four or five months and that's okay. Um, I love recognition. It's one of my little love languages. Um, Sarah Gobb is my upline and one of my best friends. So she knows that this tugs on my heart. So not being that crazy five-star coach that first year, it kind of ate me alive. Um, but I knew that I had to decide to put rank aside and focus on the smartest way to build um, to get me to that why. Paying off those $70,000 in student loans and then making that, doubling that income and being able to stay home with my kids. So I was working full-time as a teacher and I was coaching. Um, so 2014, started coaching, finished grad school. 2015, had Ruby. 2016, had Ruby. Or had Ophelia paid off my $70,000 student loan debt, left teaching to be home. Um, 2017, I had Gwen. In 2018, you guys, I'm not pregnant and it feels amazing. Um, but the past two weeks, <laughs> um, a few of my coaches, there's five of us, we just launched um, an app. It's called Mindful Menu in the Apple and Android store. It's a meal planning app, so check it out. So that's what we've been doing for the past... I don't know, since October. Um, we don't live paycheck to paycheck anymore, and the only debt that I have is our mortgage. So that's a little timeline. Let's get into the, the, real, the real gold in this. Okay. Um, so, yes. And now, despite all that crazy schedule, the past three years have just been a hot mess. So again, if I can do this, anyone can. So I want you to know that this topic's gonna to be a little bit individualized, and it's different for everyone. Cassidy, the app is called Mindful Menu. So check it out. Um, so here are a few tips, and if you guys have a notepad, um, just take some notes. I'll, I think I have like four tips or three. Um, just write them down. <laughs> So here are a few tips I've learned along the way that can help, um, that you that can that you can listen to and see what might be applicable for your situation. And then make sure you guys talk to your upline or if you have a success club partner to make a plan that fits you and your income goals. So number one, you have to look at your volume, you guys. Think of volume is bank. It's your bank. Volume is money. Okay. 
Money is volume, volume is money. So when you're building for income, you have to know your volume inside and out. And some of you right now are going, oh shit, I don't go check my volume. It's fine, I didn't for the longest time. So just start doing that from this day on. Something you should check. Um, I mean, I don't do it daily, but I'm guilty. I don't check it daily. The minimum, the important days are Sunday and Wednesday. Okay, so check your volume Sunday night and Wednesday night. You also have to know your strong leg and your weak leg, okay? And again, that's different for everyone. So someone may have a really strong leg and a really weak leg, um, or someone might have similar legs. So in terms of volume and this, that's why um, this part is so individualized in building for income. So just got to know your legs. Talk to your upline um, and she'll help you out. So again, a little recap on that. When you sign up with whoever you signed up with, so your coach, you are given, inherited, born with whatever you want to call it, a strong leg and a weak leg, okay? And your strong leg is the leg you are on your upline. So my strong leg is my right leg because Sarah, I am on Sarah's right leg. If you put a coach on your left leg, that is their strong leg. If you put a coach on their right, your right leg, that is their strong leg. So whatever leg you put um, your coach on, just remember that is their strong leg. Um, and sometimes, you guys, your weak legs end up taking over your strong leg because you get a baller coach over there or whatever the case, and you just can't, you can't help that. Um, but just remember this. Whatever leg has the highest volume, average, is usually your strong leg. In that case, that's how you're going to know how you're going to build for income. You always want to keep in mind where you're placing people to have control of building them based on whatever your strong leg and your weak legs are. So in order to fully capitalize on the most cycle bonuses with two times the volume on your strong leg than your weak leg, so the two to one ratio, um, to fully cycle as many times as possible to avoid a lot of that rollover volume. And I think a lot of you know this. Um, again, there are many methods to people teaching how to build for income with volume, but this is personally what I aim to do. I always try to get as close to a two one ratio of volume on my strong leg and my weak leg. So that's number one. Remember, volume is money, okay, you guys? Number two, let's talk two star, you guys. Two star diamond. Rank and income kind of go together to a certain extent. But I really want to talk about getting to two star for the purpose of most of the audience on this call, okay? That's a very lucrative spot to be in because you guys, I don't know if you know this, but you get to open a second CBC, a second um, business center. And then you start to get those quarterly bonuses if you hold it for six weeks. And I believe, I don't know, I haven't looked, but um, I think it ranges from anywhere from $700 to $900 um, every quarter. So if you haven't got that goal, make two star your goal, you guys, okay? Diamond first, then two star. Don't even think about one star. Just jump to two star. Um, and then if you want, you can go to five star. But two star, I'm going to tell you two star is where it's at, and I'll tell you why. So here's another little fun fact for you. You know how I mentioned you get a second CBC when you hit two star? Well, that really just means you get to be a coach again in your own downline. How cool is that, right? Because you're baller and you want a lot of baller coaches on your team, so you get to be one of them. Um, the other amazing part is that you get to pick where you sign you up again. This is super, super important. So when you go two star, you get to, you get to open another um, business center and you, you are that other business center. Um, here's where you get to evaluate your volume, you guys. If you have even legs, you wanna look at where your potential diamonds are at, your current potential diamonds, and you wanna place your second CBC on that opposite side of them because eventually you are gonna be that other diamond. So I'll say that again. If you have even legs, you wanna look at where your potential diamonds are and place your second CBC, so your new business center, over on the opposite side of that because you are going to be that other diamond. And there's that volume. You're gonna have a bunch of volume from your other diamonds, so you wanna make sure your second CBC is on um, that other leg, and usually it's the weak leg. So if you have a strong leg that is more than two one volume ratio, and you really need to build up that weak leg to get those cycles, then place your second CBC on your weak leg. Again, this is the case for most coaches, but I always check with your upline. Um, so another super fun fact about that, you guys, if you have a spouse account, 
you can place your second CBC under their week leg and still sponsor all those accounts all those accounts in your first CBC. So I have myself, my first CBC is myself. And then right when I signed up as a coach, I signed my husband up right under me. He was one of my first emeralds. And then when I went two star, I signed my second CBC under my husband's weak leg. So when you get paid every Thursday, you just, it's money, 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 because it all cycles through everything. So technically I have three business centers, my first CBC, my husband, and then my second CBC. And they're, again, they're all sponsored by my first CBC. Um, it, that can kind of be confusing. So make sure you have your upline or someone from corporate double check where you are placing that person or where you're placing that second CBC before you sign up. Okay. So again, it's kind of confusing. You know, when I first was like, what the hell is this first CBC, second CBC crap? It's just another business center, a coaching business center. Um, and again, I, when I, when Joe was here, um, he's no longer here, but when I signed up my second CBC, Sarah and I sat down and did everything together. And then, um, you know, we sent it to Joe and he's like, yep, this is good. So just make sure you have someone that you trust looking at your where you're going to place that second business center and then send it to corporate before you do, okay? Um, the importance of having someone by your side every step of the way before you set up that second business center, like my coach Sarah, is because you can dramatically ruin your chances for income potential without being educated where that second um, CBC is going to go. So if you just place it on a strong leg, it really doesn't make any sense at all because your strong leg is just going to have all this volume over here where you, and your weak leg is just going to have a little bit. And remember you want to cycle those two to one ratios. So make sure when you sign up that second CBC, talk to your upline, talk to someone you trust, and then talk to corporate together to make sure that um, it's placed um, where it needs to be for, for income for you. And again, every single one um, is different when signing up. So just because I signed, you know, just because my left leg is my weak leg and my husband's under there and I put my second CBC under my um, husband's weak account, that doesn't mean that it's going to work for everyone. So if you take anything away from that, you guys, just take away two star. You need to get to two star. Put that on your vision board. That's where the magic happens. Because when your orders go into your second CBC, that trickles up into my husband's account, and then it trickles up into my first CBC. So a cycle, cycle, cycle just means cash, cash, cash every Thursday. <laughs> Cash in the bank, you guys. Um, and before, you know, sometimes when I don't check my volume, I'm like, oh shit, I missed out on 40 bucks here or 50 bucks here because I, you know, wasn't, wasn't looking at it. So make sure you go check your volume Wednesdays and Sundays. So again, cash, 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 cycle, cycle, cycle. So not only am I getting $18 a cycle in my second CBC, but I'm getting $18 in my husband's account and I'm getting $18 in my first account. So it's like making three times as much for the same order if you choose to build that way, if you choose um, income over or volume and income over rank. So if you can just stack your business centers, your first two star, your spouse or whatever you want for that second one, um, and then your second CBC two star, your gold, you guys, your gold two star is where it's at. Wait till you hear some of these crazy things about all these top coaches that don't go beyond nine star for this reason. So number three, you guys, rank versus income. Now remember those fancy bonuses I mentioned. Those are given at two star. Two star, I believe, I think some of my girls are on here. Amy Hughes has gotten them. <coughs> I don't know who else is on. But anyways, Amy, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's anywhere from 600 to 900 bucks um, every bonus. So two star, five star, 10 star, 15 star. Every business center at those ranks get bonuses, you guys. So for example, in my first CBC is five star and my second is two star, I'm getting that five star bonus and I'm getting that second star bonus. Um, so the tricky thing about getting distracted from rank and elite when wanting to build this business is to remember that powerful tip in the, the first tip I told you is volume. Okay. I know I'm, I mean, I get butt hurt a lot. I'm like, gosh, I want to, I'm, I'm not an elite coach, you guys. Um, I get butt hurt because I'm like, oh, I want to go to all these elite parties and I want to showcase this and I want to be friends with some of those elite people and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. It's just 
Like for me, there's so many successful coaches out there. Um, I was doing some PD this morning and one of the coaches was like, there's so many successful coaches out there that are not elite, that are not, you know, speaking at summit or on um, the national wake up calls. Like you don't have to be on all those things to be successful in this business. I mean, success to me isn't all that those shiny objects, although it's nice and it would be wonderful if, you know, you could speak on a national wake up call or whatever, but success to me is paying off my student loans, um, having financial freedom and being with my girls. So that's why I chose it. All right, let's see. What I had something else. Um, oh, so did you know that you can be two star? Here's here's something fun too, and make four thousand dollars a week, you guys. That's where two star maxes out on those cycle bonuses. It's always two above the rank. So three stars, five thousand dollars a week. Four stars, six thousand dollars a week, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and this is super funny. When I was doing all this research to try and um, Talk to you guys, not many five stars, you guys, even make $4,000 a week. So I'm okay sitting at two star until I max out that volume in my first, in my second, in my third, because that's like $4,000, $4,000, $4,000. That's a lot of money. Um, and five stars barely even make $4,000 a week. So I had to tell myself, Jenna, knock, stop stressing out about rank um, for recognition. You know, providing for my family is my first priority over, over my ego. Um, but again, that's just me and how I chose to build. So that is why I'm not always on the leaderboards for ranks, but I'm one of the top earners on my team. Another fun tip, you guys. This blew me out of the water. I was like, no way. So a lot of the founding coaches and corporate mentors will tell you that the most lucrative spot in our comp plan is nine star diamond because you can literally make bank because of the requirements. How about this? So 10 star, you have to have five diamonds on each side. Holy balls, that's a lot of diamonds, you guys, on a strong leg. Five diamonds on one leg, especially if you have a power leg of volume. That's essentially wasted volume on a strong leg and wasted money. So nine star. You can sit with two diamonds on your strong leg and the rest of them on your weak leg. Almost all the founding coaches in this business are sitting at nine star because of this. And they just stack those business centers, two star, two star, two star. You know, once another one hits two star, they open it up to two star. So in my opinion, again, mending your volume situation, it's silly to build past nine star. I'm not nine star. It'd be great to be there, but I'm just focusing on keeping two star, two star, two star, because that's essentially $12,000 a week. It's crazy, right? But building past nine star, you guys, it's just silly. So I've been doing this for four years. I've been building this business from the toilet seat in the mornings, in between lunch breaks at work, little pockets that I found here and there. After taking a shower, you know, we should probably go to bed, but I just sit on the toilet naked and write out some posts. Um, maybe a little TMI, but that's just who I am. Um, I, you know, I don't, I'm not too fancy. I just kind of say it how it is. Um, if you go look at my page, you know, I don't get all dazzled up. I'm a hot ass mess. Sometimes I shower two times a week and I just share my mess with people. Um, but anyways, <laughs> so I've communicated with my husband. Um, my, my season of life is really crazy. And, you know, I just said to him, I need to really focus Sunday night through Wednesday night, you know, and he knows Sunday night through Wednesday night after those girls go to bed, I am balls to the wall upstairs, just working my business. Um, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I really don't do much. I spend time with my family. Um, and I'm really mindful of when I'm on my phone. Cause I don't want to see, I don't want my kids to see me constantly on my phone. Um, I've had to set boundaries and not check messages until I can really sit down and do so. And when I do, I'm laser focused, you guys, because I only have so, so much time before a baby wakes up or needs to be fed. And I just stopped nursing this month. So it's just been crazy. Um, so with that being said, set boundaries for yourself, you guys. And when you do get the chance to sit down, be mindful of your work. Are you doing activities that will move your business forward? We got, we all know about, um, you know, the daily activities and 
in the beach body world set a timer check in your challenge group for five minutes and have your timer go off in five minutes then move on on to a new activity check into your coaches only on wednesday nights you guys don't go to their pages every single day go to their page on wednesday night level up on them a bit when that five minute timer goes off do something else you want to send messages to some of your challengers do that you want to find some prospects on social media do that you want to message people do that but give yourself um you know a set amount of time so you're not constantly on social media and your spouse or whoever you live with gets pissed off at you because when I first started this business, me and my husband, I mean, I would go to, I would work full time and then I'd come home and I'd just be on my phone or, you know, the computer. And it wasn't good for us for like six, seven months. He hated Beachbody. Um, but I didn't set boundaries and, you know, shame on me, blah, blah, blah. But, um, you know, now I have calls every Tuesday night at 8.30 and he's like, you know, your calls at 8.30. Um, you know, he's really all about this because he sees what it's done for myself. He has seen what it's done for my postpartum journey and all these mamas that follow me. Um, and it's changed our life financially. And I know people don't like to talk about money or finances, but for real, like this is, we're not doing this. We're not doing this for free, you guys. Um, so don't be afraid to share those things. Don't be afraid to share that, um, you know, you paid off um, your cell phone bill for the month or you helped someone lose weight or help someone, you know, fit into their postpartum <coughs> pants or whatever. Just be super raw and real, you guys. Um, and you have to be consistent, though, and you have to give people time to trust you. So remember that. So when you're, when you're throwing stuff out on social media, you're like, gosh, you know, I'm, I'm doing this post, but no one's watching. Well, if I scrolled your page, could I tell you're a Beachbody coach? And do you like puke Beachbody stuff on social media? Gross, no one wants to see that. Just show, just show people what you're doing. Um, let's see. Oh, my gosh. I just kind of went off on a tangent there. Um, so I wanted you to know that I don't know everything about volume or placement or the biz I just really learn as I go um, it really just comes down to looking at where your numbers are at and building where you want to go with that and what you can control so like a second CBC or a spouse account um, that's awesome don't make this more complicated than it really has to be you guys another thing that I found really helpful is to have a partner or upline to set goals with and recheck in um, and just la laser focus until you hit them um, and recenter yourself when you get rank happy or sad, you know, um, instead of, instead of getting all sad that I'm not a five star or whatever, I just say, no, Jenna, you're doing this for income. Um, yada, yada, yada. As much as it would be great to do a national wake up call or speak at summit. Um, you know, this is, this is my jam and this is, this is why I do it. So don't get distracted by those shiny things, you guys. So yeah, um, I hope you learned a little from this tonight and know that you don't have to have a huge success story to make a great income for yourself. Um, from the beginning, I knew that I wanted to be home with my kids and I knew that teaching wasn't for me anymore after having Ruby and I wanted it so bad. So I set a goal, I worked hard to achieve it. Um, but you guys, you have to make sure you have a why, otherwise that drive slips away. So that's all I really have for ya. I hope, I hope yeah. Jenna, I have a question for you. Yes. I know there's a lot of new coaches on here that are working their way for to Emerald. So like two star, I mean, going back to when I was a brand new coach, two star was like, oh my gosh, that's a tippity top of the mountain. Like that's going to take forever to achieve. When in reality, it's not true. Like you could get there in like six months if you really wanted to. Yes. But so for all of those that are new coaches and they're working their way to Emerald, what would you say, because that's when the team cycle bonuses kick in, right? What would yep. you say after they, get to, after they get to Emerald, how would you suggest that they start building so they could be focused? Sorry, I have a German Shepherd puppy and she's like driving me crazy. Um, what would you say to, to them when they're building for income after they get to Emerald? So after you get to Emerald, so I would write out on a piece of paper, so I would put yourself here, you know, like a pyramid, but it's not a pyramid scheme, blah, blah, blah. Put yourself here, put your two emeralds here, and then write down on each side who are those other three people that are going to get you to diamond. And just go balls to the wall with those girls. Um, if you don't have anyone yet, you guys, all of my killer coaches, um, except for Amy. Amy and I started together. Amy Hughes, I love you. Um, 
Um, they all were challengers, you guys. Almost every single one of my coaches was a challenger. So just rock the hell out of your challenge group. Um, and every single month, you guys, I have a team calendar on my little team page. And I do a free group the same week every single month. I do a, cha a paid challenge group the last Monday of every single month. Um, and every single month, we do a glimpse into a coaching group and a glimpse into a challenge group. So those people, remember I said to trust, you got you to gotta let people trust you. So you got to showcase. I mean, you got to show up at least for six months before people are like, damn, what is this girl doing? Oh, you know, oh, I, she's consistent. She's just not one of those drink your shake and then, oh, she's going to move on to selling purses shit. So <laughs> you guys just have to be consistent with what you're doing. The vital behaviors are key. Um, and then make a plan. So sit down on your piece of paper. You got you on top. You got your two emeralds. And who are those other people that are going to get you to diamond? And you guys, when I, I went to diamond, what I don't know, I think it was like, it was a month into coaching, but all of the people that signed up when I went to Diamond were just discount coaches. Don't You don't have to think, oh my God, who's going to run this with me? You're showing up every month. You're doing a new challenge group every month. You're doing a new free group every month. People fall off. Some, it's not for some people. Some people stay. Some people go. Um, but you guys, you, you don't have to have all these coaches. They can be discount coaches. My two emeralds were the only, it was Luke, my husband, and then it was my girl, Amy. And then I just signed pe people on a challenge packs and I didn't really give them the option. I was like, here, this is the cheapest way to get your challenge pack. I'm going to sign you up as a coach because you guys, um, and it's still kind of this way, but four years ago when you signed someone up as a coach and they're like, Jenna, I want the discount. It was like a pain in the ass. You had to like send a picture of what you purchased and then you had to email it to Beachbody. It was just a pain in the ass. So I signed every single person up as a coach. Um, and sometimes I do now and sometimes I don't, but you can sign everyone up as a coach because people want to get that, um, People want to get that discount the next month. And if you don't have time to sit and send them the link and do this and that, just sign them up as a coach right away and say, hey, if you like Shakeology, um, you're going to get your next shipment in 30 days. It's, you're going to get it at the discounted price. Or if you don't like it, no big deal. We'll just cancel you. There's no whatever. So right away, you guys, I was Emerald. And then I went Diamond because I signed up discount coaches. So people who just wanted a discount on Shakeology. And I'm sorry, I wasn't looking at, I had some notes written down, so I wasn't looking at the chat if um, people chatted, but I'll go back and look. Uh, yeah, these are all great. Um, when you say ratio, is that you add two coaches to one leg? Okay, so ratio. If you guys go into the coach online office, it's kind of hard to explain in a call like this, but if you go to the coach online office, Michael Neiman does an awesome video on um, the two to one ratio with like figurines and like little dinosaurs. It's pretty funny. So the two to one volume just means one of your legs has to cycle 200 volume points. The other leg has to cycle 100 volume points. So if you are a diamond coach, um, you get paid $18 a cycle. So if you have like 5,000 volume points on this side at 200 and you have a thousand volume points on this side at 100, it's just going to keep cycling 200, 100, $18, 200, 100, $18, 200, 100, $18 until that two to one ratio. So until that a thousand dollars is gone, then then you have that strong leg, right? And you have all that volume that's still sitting there, but you've gotten paid 200, 100, 18 bucks every time you cycle. So that's the two to one ratio, um, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, Cassidy, sorry, I, you know, new coaches on here. If I was a new coach on here, but like, what the hell is she talking about? But it's super easy. So the gist of this call, you guys, is to get to two star. So rock out your business, you know, have fun doing it, you guys. Have fun in your challenge groups. Have fun on social media. Um, be social. It's called social media, you guys. Have fun with it. Get to Emerald, crush that goal. Get to Diamond, crush that goal. Get to two star, you guys. Um, my first paycheck, I think, was like thirty dollars, and then it just kind of went up from there. Sometimes my paychecks were zero dollars, you guys. It doesn't happen overnight, but 
when you're consistent and you just show up every day and you are inviting people to your challenge group, it's just magic. Like this, this company Beachbody has just done something amazing for everyone. And it's, we're doing a disservice if we don't share this with people. Like, you know, some of my friends, I was thinking about, gosh, what could I say to them tonight? Because I was super overwhelmed when I first started. I was like, what the hell are these calls? What the heck is volume? What are these girls talking about? I was telling some of my friends at work and I heard them talking about me like, oh my gosh, she's just finishing her master's degree. Why doesn't she just climb the teacher pay scale of maxing out at $70,000 a year? Not my jam, you know, take the road less traveled. That's what I'm, that's what I did. And I just, I just went all in and I didn't know what I was doing, you guys. And I just learned as I went and I had fun with it. No coach who signs up knows what they're doing. So if you feel overwhelmed, that's normal. <laughs> um, just have fun with it. And, you know, I would chat with my upline, Sarah, um, every month and I just say, Hey, I would really like to hit Emerald by this time. Could you help me, um, you know, make a plan? Of course. Um, and then I'd re we'd recheck it the next month. If I didn't hit it, no big deal. You guys, then I, then I'd shoot for something else or two star. You know, I'm like, Hey Sarah, I really want to hit two star. Um, you know, could you, can we sit down and make a plan? Can we look at this? And of course, so sit down with your coaches if they have, you know, if they have a plan and sometimes you guys, it's just fun to get on a zoom one-on-one -on -one to talk to them. It just makes you feel so much better about um, the business and where you're going with it. So just have some goals for yourself and, um, you know, set them, set them with a success partner or set them with a coach. Um, do you go for a certain number of success club points? I try to go for 10, but to be honest with you, um, I would say 80% of my coaching career, I've hit success club, I don't know eight consistently almost all the time. You guys, there have been some times in this business I haven't hit success club. I would say I've been doing this for four years and I cried like a baby. How stupid. My coach was like, it's not a big deal. Who cares? But I think I would say four or five months within the four years that there were months I didn't hit success club. So it's just fine. It's no big deal. I mean, obviously you want to move your business forward and you know, I, my goal, I don't have a goal of 30 or 40. I think that's asinine. I don't have time for that. Um, at least, at least, you know, eight or 10 for sure is my goal. Um, I think that's all from the chat. If you guys um, have any questions, go ahead. I'm going to do a boomerang real quick. <clears throat> And so, and you guys, Instagram, I'm not great at Instagram. I'm learning as I go, but I will tell you my Instagram stories. I have a, tons of people watch my stories. That is where the magic is happening. You guys, I talk about, you know, lift four. I talk about my challenge group. I showcase myself working out. I showcase, um, my mom crack, I call it, or mama go juice. It's just energized. Um, people watch you, you guys. And then after a few I don't know, a few months, people are like, oh, well, what is that? Can I, can I get some of that energized beach bars? Share about beach bars. That's where the volume is. You guys, you're selling those, that product. Don't just think it's a challenge pack. It's not just a challenge pack. It's energized. It's hydrate. It's beach bars. It's the ultimate reset. It's Shakeology. It's daily sunshine. So I have three kids and two of my kids drink daily sunshine every day. So I share about daily sunshine all the time. So moms, moms are like my niche because I have three kids under three and under. Um, but everyone orders daily sunshine for me, you guys. It's volume. Well, product is volume. Product is money. You get commission on that, but also you get volume. So don't just think, oh, I got to sell these challenge packs. Share, energize, share, hydrate. You know, hydrate is, you know, like an awesome Gatorade that doesn't have all the crap in it. Um, great for after a workout. Great for during a workout. Energize gets you going before a workout, blah, blah, blah. Um, so it's an, don't, don't just focus on selling challenge packs, but you should, you know, hit success club, but it's all about volume, 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 volume is money, money, money. So share all that other stuff, you guys. Yeah. Great for kids after sports, bring it, you guys, and wear your swag. Like my coach got me this. I'm sending this out to a few of my coaches too. Um, I send my coaches 
Shakeology stuff, have them wear swag wherever you go. If you're a mom, you guys, and you're going on a play date or if you're going to a soccer game or dance or whatever, I wear my beach body stuff everywhere and people are like, oh, you're a beach body coach? Oh yeah, I've heard about Daily Sunshine. There you go. Let's let's connect on social media, blah, 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 blah. The rest is history. You guys just don't make this harder than it is. It's just if once you once you get going, it's just like um, second nature. That's all. I could talk for you for I could talk to you guys for forever, but <laughs> I'm gonna do a boomerang real quick. Oh, that lighting is bad. So yeah, if you guys have any more questions, feel free. No question is a stupid question, you guys. I have silly questions all the time and I've been doing it for four years. So you are all very welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome. All right, if you have any questions, you guys, feel free to reach out on social media. Just let me know who you are and I'd be happy to help you. Um, Allison, how long did it take you to get to two star? I was two star within the first year. Um, I would say I signed up in, I think I was two star by July. I signed up in March and I was two star by July. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Your goal just has to be to get there. All right, guys. If that's it, have a great night. Thank you. Yep.